neighbors. Hey everyone, I wanted to do something a little bit different and share with you five of my current favorites for the month of October. These are all music related favorites, so stay tuned if you want to know what they are. The first thing I'm loving this month is a YouTube channel that I've discovered very recently. Um, I want to do a quick shout out to Max Bailey, who is a pro violinist slash violist. And one of his videos popped up on my recommended page and I, I was just hooked the moment I clicked on one of his video tutorials. In particular, I love his video on the left hand action where he talked about how the motion starts at the base knuckles when you're lifting and dropping your fingers onto the fingerboard. The concept of playing fast without much effort really resonated with me because, as you guys will know, I am working my way through the first four pages of Tchaikovsky, which requires super fast fingers. So what I'm planning to do is to apply some of the principles that he talked about in the videos to Shradiak and hopefully this will make my playing a little bit faster. I will have a link to Max's videos in the description below because I'm sure you guys will want to check out the video tutorials for yourself. Next up is my earpiece, which you won't catch me playing the violin without wearing one. I I don't know about you guys, but for me, I just can't play without wearing one anymore because my ear has gotten pretty sensitive ever since I started learning how to play. And so what I do is I just take one of these guys if I can get it out here and place it in my left ear and it really helps to cut down the volume of my violin. Thanks to Ilka from Violin Lab for introducing them to me. I think that was over three years ago but I'm just really impressed by the way that they've designed this. It basically filters out background noise and it works really well in protecting your ear from the sheer volume of the violin. So, highly, highly recommend this. Of course, I have to mention the violin concerto that I'm loving this month, which is Mozart number no. 3. I printed out a copy of the score from IMSLP, and this piece is pretty long, 15 pages long. But compared to Tchaikovsky, which is 31 pages, well, Let's just say that this piece is a little less daunting, but only by just a fraction. It's, it's still really hard. I decided to study this piece because I feel like it's been a while since I practiced playing staccato notes properly. And this piece is littered with staccato notes, so it's a good fix for me. Moving on to my next favorite, which is the Melis Rosin that I showed you guys in a first impressions video last year. I've exclusively been using this rosin since then, and I have to say that I really love the formulation of this one and how easy it is to clean off of the strings as well after playing. The only possible drawback of liking this one so much is that the Bernadelle rosin that I also got last year is not getting any love. So what I initially thought was I was going to switch to the Bernadelle as soon as the warmer months came, but the Malice Rosin seems to work just as well even in warmer conditions, so I stayed with it. And finally, my favorite artist of the month is Yehudi Menuhin. I'm sure many of you guys will already know him. I recently saw a BBC documentary about him and it was absolutely fascinating. Uh, but the first time that I learned anything about Yehudi was when I was exploring how to play the violin without the shoulder rest, which was around this time last year. And I encountered a video of him teaching little ones how to hold the violin with an emphasis of not raising the shoulder when you're doing it that way. So that was really interesting for me to watch. And so I highly recommend checking out the documentary if you haven't seen it yet, especially if you're really interested in learning about the great masters. I think you'd really enjoy it. And yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you have any recommendations, um, you know, for classical music related films that you think I, I'd enjoy watching. 
I would love to check them out. And thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you on my next one. Bye.